Hello, everybody. I'm Max, and I'd like to tell you a bit about our team's project, targeting education interventions for young students. The conventional wisdom is that third grade is when students transition from learning to read to reading to learn, which is maybe why students with low reading proficiency in third grade are four times less likely to graduate high school on time. Well, what should we do about this? One solution is to hold students back a grade. However, a University of Chicago study has shown that held back students don't perform any better later on than their nearly identical peers who were promoted. Meanwhile, in Oklahoma in 2013, the passing of the Reading Sufficiency Act has meant that children who don't pass an end of third grade exam are automatically made to repeat third grade. This problem is particularly acute in the Tulsa Public Schools where high poverty and segregation mean that education is unequally distributed. We're partnering with their 50, 53 elementary schools and 14,000 students to see which of them are most at risk of repeating third grade. So we developed an early warning system to tell us which of these students are most at risk of repeating third grade, but critically to do it as early as possible. Unlike the Ohio high school prediction problem you just saw, our students are much younger and that necessarily means a lot less training data to work with. Remember, these students are only seven or eight years old. However, we do still have some data to work with. We know their intermediate test scores from earlier on, plus we have how much time they've spent on educational software, data about their teachers, and whether or not they attend after school programs. Tulsa has the ability and the resources at the moment to help about half their students, and we wanted to support their work with, our, uh, with a data-driven approach. Using our model, Tulsa can now designate students at the end of second grade into one of two categories. Those who need a, a little bit of extra assistance and those who are on track. Based on our system, 95% of students who need extra attention end up receiving it in the form such as learning apps or maybe going to summer school. That's 250 more students identified per year than Tulsa's current criteria identifies. Utilizing our predictions, Tulsa is making a dashboard for teachers to, to show them the risk of their students and importantly, what would be the most effective help to give them. We hope that using our early warning system, we can improve the reading ability and general life trends of young students. Thanks very much.